So since the character can actually jump in this mechanic, we actually need to either have it set to the jump button again or the screen. So I set it to the screen and whenever the player releases their finger off the screen, then the character will jump. So I wanted to try that, try to make it as intuitive as possible for a hyper casual game. We have a joystick where it's just being used by one hand. So we need to remove that jump button to actually get back some of the screen real estate because it seems a little bit crammed having that jump button. We definitely don't need it because less is more on a mobile device. So I hit play and I'm testing out the joystick and when I let go, character jumps and I let go again, character jumps. So that possibly could work. It makes this mechanic a little bit more easier, I feel like, than having a whole bunch of buttons on the screen. It definitely would have worked keeping it in landscape, having the button, but since we changed it to portrait, we kind of have to make it a little bit more intuitive in how we play this game. We want to make it as simple and easy as possible for the player to play the game and not have to think too much. And I thought using mainly your thumb has two functions. You press the screen and you let go of the screen. So pressing on the screen and moving it around is how we move the character with the joystick. And then when we let go, that's actually another function and we can actually apply the jump mechanic to that. So that's what I did. Moved the jump button off the screen. We don't really need that. And I press play. It's moving around. I want to make sure this mechanic works. It actually feels not bad. 